Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to optimize the game assets and also build up the level. So for this one, we're going to start with optimize the assets. So basically, go over to your your assets and uh, we're going to go for a classroom. Then go to meshes. And then we're going to select all these. Oh, we might not use all of them, but in this, in this case, we're going to select all of these by clicking Control A, select them all. And then you're going to go into model and then go to where it says generate colliders and click apply. We're going to do it for all the game assets so once that's done okay look for a D and K dev I'll click it go to models basically what, what we're doing is we're looking for uh, you know model message but we're basically looking for this setup right here where it said model rig animation materials alright and then hold them down, scroll it down, hold down the shift key, highlight to get all of these. And then go to generate colliders. Then go ahead and click apply. That's applied. All right. Next. Now the morgue is inside the models. So the one we're going to be using, we're not going to use the floor or wall. It's going to use the props. If you want, you can use the floor and wall instead of what I'm doing. Go to props. That same thing. Hold down shift. Highlight all. And click on generate colliders. Click apply. And then for the sink and toilet, go to models, select these two, generate colliders, click apply, and for a snack machine, go to 3D object folder, select the uh, snack machine, click generate colliders, apply, then from where it says wooden chair, find the, the image that has this layout or the model, select it, Click generate colliders. The reason why I poured this one doing one by one because they put the uh, textures uh, in here as well. So let's see here. That's another one. So they generate colliders. Oh, apply. And select this one, the next one. Generate colliders. Click apply. And uh, that should be it. Okay. So next, before we go ahead and move on to uh, build up the level, you know, a quick way uh, to navigate around the scene, uh, which what I'm going to be using. It's, over top here, you got your move tool, your scale tool, and your rotate, and also your rec tool. These these are the tools that I'm gonna be be using, uh, as you will see as you follow along. All right. So and also um, to move around the scene, if you hold down the right mouse button. 
you get the see how this this hand turns into an eye that allows you to move so if you hold on the, the left I'm sorry the right mouse button and then move the uh, mouse around it allows you to uh, move around jerking around or move it left to right and see it, see it, how how it rotates around, all right, and and then also uh, if you um, hold down the left, I'm sorry, the right mouse button, and use the W A S D keys. W allows you move forward. S allows you move back. A allows you move left, and D allows you move right. And also if you hold it down, move around, you can strife around. Same thing. Same thing, strike around, and and so on. All right, and then also if you go up here, which we're going to be using as well to build up the level to make it easier, you press the Y key that allows you to see the top. Press it, uh, and press this bottom key. That allows you to see, see the bottom to help us build up the floor and the and the ceiling. All right, and then uh, you can click on these two. All right, as as we're going along, uh, uh, we will you'll see me using these. All right, and then moving back to just click on the X to move back. Okay, so what we're going to do is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and and uh, put our first game object into the scene. So selecting the DNK DNK dev, go to prefab, and we're gonna look for I believe it'll be this one. It's the one without the window. So going into uh, so this one doesn't have the window so bring this over to the scene drag it into the scene now to see it you see it in the grain but in the scene you don't see it hovering over the scene like so with the mouse pointer press the F key and there it is right there all right and then uh, we're going to, I'm holding down the right mouse button and pressing the A key so I can move around. And also the D key to move around and around it. So just to get familiar with uh, moving around in the, in the scene, uh, you can press pause and just try to see if you can move around it to make you feel a little bit comfortable. If not, just... Go ahead and uh, follow along and build up the uh, level uh, as I'm doing or So continuing on. And the reason why we had to generate colliders, uh, I'll show you uh, in a minute once we build this up. So so we have this out. Next, what we're going to do is going to do the wall. So there's two walls. There's uh, P wall zero one, P wall zero two. You can mix them up to to make them look good and pull out P's wall zero one. Press the F key, and then so this is ninety degrees the Y. So we're going to rotate it on the Y. If you rotate it on the Y. Press zero, so it's facing facing us this is P wall zero one and then what I'm doing is to snap it by if you go up here and also to zoom in if you use the use the mouse the mouse wheel back and forth that allows you to zoom in back and forth and also if you want to move up and down, hold down the mouse wheel and and then just move the uh, mouse back and forth to, 
to uh, allow you to move up and down. So I'm going to zoom in. And if you press the V key for Victor, you see how you have this right here? These are these. This is the vertice. And what this will do is it allow you to connect it. So what I found out is it's best to connect it up top. So hold down and connect it. Boom. See how now it's seamless. So if you zoom out. Want to hold the right mouse button and press W to to to, to move in. As you as you can see, it is now seamless. All right. And then what we're going to do is uh, let's, let's use uh, wall two. Let's show you how wall two looks like. If you want me to use the same wall. Now the same thing to find this. Just press the F key. And it's right there. Okay, wall two. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do 180. The reason why I'm going to do 180, if you see it, it's facing. We're looking at the back side instead of the, the front side of the model. All right. And then also to uh, move these, these uh, assets around, see these arrows. I'm just, I'm just selecting these arrows to move these uh, around back and forth and up and down. All right. Because this, this right here is the Y up and down this right here is the X for uh, left and right and this is the Z axis for forward and back all right so I'm just gonna move this in and do the same move it up a little bit with the hold and hold I'm moving this up and then same just press the B key and snap in place so, so if you want, you use this. You can make the walls different, or just use use the same. It is it is your your choice? All right. So once that is done, I'm just hold down. Uh, I'm just hold down. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna hold down because the thing is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three. I'm gonna make six rooms. Three on this side, three on the other side, as you will see. All right. So I'm gonna press Control D, that will duplicate it, and then selecting this right here. See, as I hover it over there, it changes colors. That means that you have it, uh, that you can select it. All right, holding down the left mouse button, I'm gonna move it over like so, and then do the same to snap it by pressing the V key. Snap in place. Boom. All right. Okay. And then doing the same again. I said we want uh, three rooms, so one more on this side. Control D. Move it over. By by having the pointer select the the red or the X acid part of this of the model, and then this. Move it over and then snap in place by pressing V. All right. Now that is done. We have three rooms on, on this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the other. We're going to just duplicate this wall. Or you can or you can just grab this wall and duplicate it to move this over over here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'll show you. Duplicate this wall. And then I'm going to zero this out. Okay, maybe not zero this out, but go to on the rotation Y. Yeah, 90. Put 90 degrees. And if you're using different models uh, to rotate, we're rotating on the Y axis. 90, 180, and zero uh, to the Roy, the Roy, the the Y axis. All right, so so if you're using different models to uh, build up uh, your own level, uh, that's perfectly fine. 
and then what you're going to do is go to B, snap this in, and then I'm going to grab this right here and control D to duplicate this, move this over, move this out, and I believe if this one will be 180. Nope, not 180. Actually, yeah, it would be negative 180. All right. Neg nope, not negative 180. It's going to be negative 90. All right, there you go, negative 90. All right. And then we're going, and this one's going to be the bathroom part. So same thing. Snap it in place. Just looking at, at everything by moving in by holding down the right mouse button, the W, and then I'm just moving around, moving over to the right by holding down the D and the left left uh I'm not left the right mouse button, I'm sorry, and then the A button. Just to make sure that I don't see no cracks or anything like that, that everything's seamless. Alright. Okay, so uh, next, I'm going to add another wall. Press the control D on this wall. Move this over. Press the V to snap it in place. And then, since this, we're going to drag this wall, control D. And I, yeah, we can zero this out. It's over. Control. No, I'm sorry. Hold down the V to snap this in place. All right. And then, like I said, three on this side and three on this side. So, so what we can do is get this. Control D. Like this and. Do control D, bring this over, and this one's going to be 180 on the Y, 180. Bring this over by I select in the uh, the blue or the Z part of the model, move it over the X part of the model, then then press the V key. Snap in place. Then using this, select the wall and select the room by holding shift. Press control D to duplicate it. And then just move it over to snap it. And do the same with this still selected. Press control D. Move it over and snap it. Alright, so everything so it should be snapped. So we have three rooms over here. Now once that is that is done, uh add this wall over here. So press control D, move the wall over, snap it. Now it's your choice if you want to keep this uh you don't have to do all three rooms. You can do do two rooms or five rooms, or or better yet, you can make this into like a uh, like basically like a like a hotel area uh, uh, if you remember uh, those movies with, with hotels you can like make this into like a hotel area a in a way um, and have like zombies coming out of the the hotel and trying to get out of the exit if you just want to do it do to do, do it uh, that way you don't have to like I said you don't have to uh, copy off of what I'm doing but um, but, but yeah, just use your own anima animation. Uh, animation. We're going to do animations later. But just use your own imagination. Or you can follow along. And then later on, uh, once you get comfortable, just build up your own level and, and see how it goes. Uh, have fun with this. All right. So next, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to uh, build out the other side. And that will be the hallway. So, so let's see here. I'm going to grab this wall. Press Control D. Well, and then on the Y, I guess, no, not 90. So 
actually it'll be negative 90. All right. Move it on. The, move it over. And then pressing the B, snap it in place. And then I'm just gonna grab this, duplicate this because that's I'm gonna use this for the hallway. Move this in. And I believe I think we it'll be just 90. Yes, 90. All right. 90 and move this over then press the V key all right and then duplicate this wall press the V key on here all right snap in place now also we don't make sure that there's no we don't see no blue or anything like that also, um, to to see this better, because once we are going to close it with the floor and ceiling, see right here, as it says, when toggle on, the scene light is used. When toggle off, a light attached to the scene view camera is used. So that will allow us to see see it better. And then later on, when we build up, uh, after we build up the level, we're going to lighting to make that scene look like a Resident Evil, Silent Hill, or a horror movie or horror game feel. Alright, so just go ahead and click on that so you can better see it. Alright, and then just making sure that we don't see no blue coming out of, of it. I think we see like like some blue coming out of it. So let me see here. I'm just gonna do V. Also, I just don't want to see 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 no blue coming out of this this either. All right, so everything looks looks good. Okay, so next. The next video, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut this video short since we just got this uh, right here all done. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build the floor and the ceiling uh, next, all right? In the next video. And also, if you do uh, like what I'm doing uh, and you're having fun, go ahead and like and subscribe and share uh, this uh, with your friends and family. Other than that, and also, uh, also you can also support me as well by clicking on the um, Patreon link down below um, uh, to support me, uh, so I can make uh, more tutorials. And also, if you want to learn more about uh, Unity and building up levels and level design, just click on the affiliate links found below in the description. All right, see you guys in the next video.